People are like, who is Danielle Victor? And I'm like, bitch, it's Danny with two N's. Am I a fashion blogger? Maybe. Am I a storyteller? For sure. Am I a badass bitch? Absolutely. So if you're smart, you'll subscribe to my channel. That's the reason we went to Vegas to begin with, because I was chasing Zach, because I thought he was going to be there. <laughs> Somebody just fucking rewind that, rewind it, rewind it, because that was me on the way to Vegas. That's going to be, that's uh, definitely going to be some gift someone's going to keep sending somebody. <laughs> Your face right there. <laughs> We are bootleg right now filming. People film on their phones all the time. This isn't bootleg. It's 2022. It's like the new thing. I feel like I filmed on my phone a couple times on my channel and I was looking like at me instead of looking like, you know? Wait, and it's where, like awkward. You looking, you know, I don't think we're supposed to look at ourselves. You're absolutely supposed to look at yourself. I look at myself this whole time, but I'm blind. So it's like, I can't really. No, not I think we're supposed blind. to be looking at like the, where the camera is. I've been saying affirmations. This tastes like wet dog. What? You ha this is your second glass. Yeah, it all of a sudden tastes like wet dog. Ugh. Anyways, guys, I've been doing these affirmations because I have glasses, right? A little bit. No. It's got like that aftertaste of wet dog that just came out the rain. No. Um. First of all, I got my hair freshly blow dried, so Gabby failed to tell me that it looked like I had a bald spot last time. So I just want to show you guys. <laughs> no one noticed that. You put that out to everybody. No. Like no one would have noticed that. It's all I was staring at. I was like, I don't even want to edit the shit. My cramps. I want to throw this in the trash. My ovaries. Anyways, I've been doing this affirmation every day because I have glasses. I have to drive with glasses. I can't watch movies without glasses. So I've been saying every day, oh my God, I am so happy and so grateful that I can see clearly. I no longer need glasses. I can see everything with 20-20 vision. I can see everything for exactly what it is and not the illusion of what it is. Amen. Amen. So anyways, we're doing a story time. Oh, um, why are you doing that? And those are my sweats and it's irritating me that you have them on. Because they're stains They're not your sweats. Them. Kayla literally gave me a bunch of she sweats. She borrowed those from me. She used to come over all the time and leave in our clothes. What are you talking about? I I generally think these are No, hers, those are but... my... Gabby, I know my sweatpants. Those are them. And like, what are those new stains? That's from the Mayu Ketchu. That better come out. Those are my favorite sweats. Mm. Tini, these aren't your sweats. Those are from Max. They're literally from Kayla Martinez. The only good thing that came out of the relationship for the sweatpants I got. So I know what sweatpants a guy used to fucking date used to give me. Tony, these are not a guy's sweatpants. Those are him. He wore tiny little sweats. Even the Zara ones are mad tight. I'm like, my guy. Anyways, um, you fit your ass into these. He had a nice ass. Hey, your body. Sure. Oh, is that his thigh? Mm -hmm. Is that his thigh? Where were we going with this? Oh yeah, Vegas, circa day, two thousand. I don't know. I don't know either. 2000 and... 2000 and... Whatever Love Games was so almost 11 fucking years ago. This wasn't during Love Games? Yeah, because we flew to LA first. Amy came to Boston, slept at the crib with dad and mom. I, I remember that. I remember yeah. that. She was a white girl wasted for yeah, real. Yeah, chicken nuggets in the man cave. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then we... Oh my god, yeah. I still have pictures for those. If I can find them, insert here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Where would you find that, though? I think I have an album called Bad Girls Club 13. I mean, Bad Girls Club Love Games. And I think it's at the be very beginning of the album. Yeah, she slept over. Amy didn't floss her teeth. I mean, that she would take a napkin. During Love Games, she'd be like... Yeah, and she'd just take oh a napkin. God. I'm like, that's not how you get food out, girl. And she was like, that's how I do it. I'm like, you're rubbing a napkin on your enamel, your plaque buildup. Like, it's not helping with stuck in between. Uh, that don't make no sense to me. It does. It's world. food built up on your teeth. That's why when you were freaking out last night about a blow pop, I was like, buy plaque. It's literally what you're eating, plaque. Yeah, but sometimes I like just sucking on something. So I like to have it, and he found it. I don't know how he'd be finding my shit. He comes really like Gabby, when do you ever suck on a fucking lollipop? Sometimes when I'm stressed, I like to just suck on a lollipop. That's why I have it in my next to my bed. And he was That's like, That's not something you do on a regular basis, bro. I have been for the past like three months, ever since I moved across the e-market. 
You notice how I always buy lollipops? It's very bizarre. We're not, we all have oh issues. Oh my god. What? You get lollipops because you send sexual videos sucking the lollipops, don't you? I have not sent a sexual video to anyone sucking a lollipop, you dumb bitch. Ew. I actually haven't sent one sexual video, thanks. Ew. Yeah, let me... <laughs> on a lollipop and send it, Danny, because that's how I get down. I mean, you're clearly trying new things, so, and this lollipop thing is new. Danny, yeah, just when I'm stressed. It's called an oral fixation. When I mean, you have to have something in your mouth. I have never had that. Never will either. Never right. once have I been like, oh my god, give me something and stick it in my mouth right now. It's like calming almost. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um... <coughs> Anyways, we went to, Amy came, stayed at the crib, we partied, we got on a flight, we flew to LA, they put us in this janky ass fucking hotel. I mean, like, it was bottom of the barrel. I wish I had pictures of the fucking motel they put us in. Remember that? For love games? Yes, uh, me and Amy had to redo lines. And I said, I'm only coming if you pay for Gabby's ticket. Why don't I remember this, like, at all? And I should have been like, no, I'm good, get Danny. No, you were excited to go. Right there, I should have been like, I'm good. <laughs> So don't bring me. I said, I'm only going to come. I don't know why they couldn't just, I guess technology wasn't as advanced because I don't know why we couldn't just like do a voice recording for the lines, but they needed us to fly to LA to literally say like a couple lines for an intro, voiceovers, whatever. And so we fly to LA and they put us in this janky ass hotel. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. I think like maybe in Topanga or something. Yeah. And it was like okay, one yeah, of yeah, those yeah. like yeah. motels. It looked so creepy. Yeah, yeah, it was so creepy. Like literally an easy eight. It looked like bed bugs. Yeah. Like I'm going to go here. I'm going to come back with bed bugs. They put us in the first floor, which is just dangerous to begin with because... Didn't we get like weed off some random? No, Gabby, we smoked at the PA. Yeah. yeah. Why is none of the story like recollect? T Danny, I don't know. I d t that's why I like, I just we just talked about it. That's so strange. I know, Anyways, I know. so we spend like eight hours filming and then we go back to the hotel. I'm not quite sure where Amy is. Is she still in our room? She's in our room, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so it's me, Gabby, a Wilda. Danny, we're you're you're getting we're getting our stories mixed up. <gasps> we are. That's why you're like you don't remember. I'm like you're telling one whole other story. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes. Like this. But we went to we went to L. A. before um, Vegas. So what was that for? Danny, I don't like. I literally don't remember. Oh my god. What's this the story? So yeah, because we were in that hotel room and. <laughs> And I smoked weed. And you were in the bathroom, like, bugging. I wouldn't, I wouldn't you come would, out. You wouldn't come out. You were, like, in the bathtub. And I was like, are we you We smoked with a PA. We met on Bad Girls Club. We're not going to disclose her name because we don't want her to lose her job in case she's still working with them. But Why would she lose her job? She wasn't working. You work. can't hang out with cast members ever. It's, like, against the rules What if you fell in love with someone? That's it, so stupid. It doesn't matter. I mean, the reason we couldn't talk to the camera guys because Angie from Bad Girls Club said, fuck Cody. Cody. I was in love with Cody, you guys. I Fucking mean, like, Cody. I was in love with him. He was cute, yeah. He was so cute. If you look back on it now, he was not cute. We were just desperate, no, horny, and cutie. alone in the house with a girl. He was a cutie. He was like a dorky cute. He was not cute. Cody! Call me. No, you used to like go love, hard. Yeah. I mean, like, like Danny would be like, pull your dick out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like in love with Cody. Cody, yeah. Cody. There was another guy, a camera guy that I was like, sir, no, take me to the wilderness. Uh, he okay. reminded me. Yes. Oh, you're talking about oh boy. You're talking about Bad Girls Club All Star Battle. Oh my god. And he had a relationship with the sh the badass bitch. She was like a badass bitch. Who fucks that? Huh? You're talking about the 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 camera woman who had the, the muscular thighs. She fucks Zach from the real world. Oh, and she looked like Native and American. I, and I was like, mm, Zach is mine, you Ew. bitch. Gross. But that's the reason we went to Vegas to begin with, because I was chasing Zach, because I thought he was going to be there. <sighs> Zach! <laughs> Somebody just fucking rewind that, rewind it, rewind it, because that was me on the way to Vegas. That's gonna be. Bus. That's definitely gonna be some gift. Someone's gonna keep sending somebody <laughs> your face right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! And you, you didn't even like the sex, so I don't understand that. Terrible sex. sex. I don't understand that obsession. Shout out to him. I can never fuck that. 
<laughs> I mean, I think shout out to his wife. <laughs> but you were, I don't get that. Like, me and you both, like, have hooked up with it's guys. It's called rejection. I could never handle rejection. Wow. Never. Now I can. I'm like, rejection is redirection. Rejection yeah, no, is redirection. rejection is God's protection. And mm -hmm. me and Zach were never going to make it. As soon as he told me his. <laughs> His family is racist. I should have been like, this ain't gonna work. Damn, he never even tried to make it work with you. He just wanted to fuck. I know. So it's like you're sitting there being like, we weren't gonna make it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Zach! <laughs> Zach! <laughs> And the reason why me and CT didn't work is because he could not get past the fact that I fucked Zach. I mean, it's in the same line of work. It's like awkward. But I'm like, my God, it was. And that's not why. And that's not why y'all didn't work out. No, it was a long laundry list. Yeah. He hung that over my head every single time. And that's just someone gaslighting you. Yeah. Every single time we fought, he's like, "You'd fuck Zach." I'm like, that was like six years before we got together, my guy. So you were like. <laughs> you have like a weird obsession with just like anyone on like a reality TV, so it was odd. Yeah, I thought it would make me more pop it. I don't know. Is that why? I don't know. I try to rationalize it now, and I'm like, why was I so obsessed? I never found a single dude from reality honestly, TV. Honestly, I would never date anyone except who does Leroy TV. was wicked handsome to me. Remember, I had like a crush on him. Bro. Leroy is probably one of the nicest fucking people I've ever met in this life. He's married he's... now and has a baby. No, with the girl, with the girl from Real World. Stop! Their oh, baby is so cute. Uh, so yeah, cute. like I just thought he was so sweet. I had He's such like a the crush. nicest guy. Mm -hmm. We did the oh my god Game of Clones with him, and I would pull Leroy aside. I'm like Leroy, this is so fucked. I kiss Leroy. I know, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. He was like into me for a hot ass second. I never gave him the time of day though. He is the best person. Even though show. I was like, uh, I like you, but no, thank you. I love you. I love you. Bye bye. <laughs> like, bye. Yeah, he was I so nice. Him, like, and that night, that night was fun. Best. Yeah, Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we ended up in Vegas. So five, five, five. We I can't remember what we went to LA for because I'm thinking about the time we went to the hotel. But that was actually before we went to Vegas, and we got fucking turned the fuck up on the way to Vegas. With a will that it was for our birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, then I, we went to then we went to Michigan. No, Detroit. Detroit. It was Detroit, Detroit to a strip club. Oh, that is Michigan. Detroit is in Michigan. Yeah, it was a strip club. Yeah. Um, that strip club was lit. We got drugged in Vegas, but not that trip. Another trip. So let's get just back to the. We went to what? Vegas. Gabby at that strip club. I got drugged. You did too. They told us. Remember when? As soon as we walked in, the the guy that hired us for the club promotion was like. Don't ever put your drink down. People get drugged here. And what do you and me do? We put our fucking drinks down. And it was the only flight. We flew from Vegas to Detroit on Spirit Airlines. Yeah. And I threw up the entire time. I yeah, was in yeah, the bathroom. yeah, yeah, yeah. You were throwing up. I, I just blacked like, out. I, I don't just... even remember getting home from the strip club. I do. And we were with Gia in the strip club. I was like, we were with Gia in the strip club. I don't remember Gia being there. I don't remember shit from the strip club. I just remember. Gia. We went to two bookings. Ordering with Gia. a Ciroc Peach and Red Bull and then knocking out. That strip club was low-key lit, though. I don't remember it. I don't remember anything. Like, they that. really knew how to shake some ass. But we're talking about two different Vegas trips. So we're totally off track here. The trip that we're talking about is we can't remember why we went to LA, but it had something to do with love games. And then we we were supposed to take production. We're supposed to fly us home. And Danny convinced me not to let production fly us home and to go to Vegas. On so she could what? Chase a motherfucker she didn't even like sleeping with. Who wasn't even there because he knew better than to go to a janky ass event. So I looked at Danny. I was like, I really don't want to do this. And I don't know why I let her convince me to do it. But we ended up taking a bus to Vegas. Yes, eight hours. It was miserable. I was thinking the whole time. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So we get to Vegas and we're in this hotel I don't by these event people. It was like a, it was like an inn. It was weird. It was like weird, but there was like other reality TV people. Everyone there. was there. Yeah, there was like a lot. Everyone of Everyone was there. It's not like we were put in this like so these. These club promoters that put this event together did not know what they were doing. Yeah, so we like put into this like inn type vibe. I was like, I how are we that during the day? We went up to the roof to tan because everyone was there like the first day we were there. And that was kind of cool. Like everyone was just vibing out. But yeah. then we went downstairs and it was like interviews. 
And if we can find a clip from one of these interviews, uh, it's on. It someone has it on TikTok. Okay, well then we'll screen record the clip and we'll play it. I was it. so skinny. Oh my god. Yo, what up, After Buzzers? DJ Jesse here at the Vegas Bash. I'm super excited because you know I host the Bad Girls After Club show. I'm in Vegas with the twins, ladies. You're back in your hometown for the Bad Girls. We got. There's a bad girl from our season here. That's, let's, that's let's, let's not interview her because she's irrelevant. <laughs> she's irrelevant. Oh, I gotta find out what bad girl is in right now. All right, girls. Erica's cool as shit. She's gonna get me into trouble this weekend. And I don't mean redhead gingerbread bitch from my season. I mean Erica. <laughs> Thank yeah. Anorexically scared. It was just like so not well put together. I remember we went and it was like a bunch of real world people and then a bunch of Bad Girls Club people and the Bad Girl, for some reason, everyone from Real World hated anyone on Bad Girls Club. Yeah, they like, were like, so mean. So mean. They were so rude. Like I used to love Anissa and Anissa was so rude to us. She was so mean. And then that dude was so drunk. Which what one? was his name? Who was like really good friends with Anissa? Right now, isn't down, Gabby? I don't watch Real World. I don't either, uh, not anymore. Oh, uh, I forget his name. Is Real World still a thing? I think so. I think like the challenges, I don't think they actually do like- You couldn't pay me to do that. Mm -mm. It, unless we're drinking how many glasses of wine can you have before you fall to the floor? I am not doing no challenge. Yeah. I have no interest, zero inches of dangling off a building. No, None. No, no, no. Not for, not for $50,000. Suck my left titty. Yeah, no. Definitely mm. not. It was just a bad vibes. But I went there literally because I think maybe a couple months before I hooked up with Zach and then Zach got with some chick who lived in Boston. And like moved to Boston for a little bit. And I was like, <sighs> oh yeah. And they had like a black dog or something, right? They had some type of dog. Yeah. Like, that relationship didn't work out. Yeah, clearly, because he's married and has a baby with somebody else. I think mean, she's married too. She's yeah. a chick that's on Jam 94.5. Oh yeah. Ashley Feldman. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's good at radio. She's okay. I don't really listen to the radio. It's not like I really have any opinion on it. I just feel like radio is kind of like a dying thing. Yeah, like I'm not tuning in. No. I'm not tuning in. I don't but I mean like radio voice. Like you know how news oh, yeah, broadcasters yeah, 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 yeah. all kind of sound the same? Yeah. And radio people kind of all sound the same. She has that voice for radio. So anyways, back to this topic. So we go to this event and like the pool was cool. But after the pool, like everything kind of like... And Why are you yawning, bro? I don't know. It's dark time. It's bedtime and shit. It's like 5 o'clock and it's pitch black out. It's so dark. So we we did these weird-ass interviews. I think it's really hard to find them because it was not a legit thing. And then it was really hard to mingle with people because people were just so entitled and rude. There was a few people that were cool. Do I remember who they were, really? No. Isn't this maybe why people get on reality TV and also act entitled and rude because they've been around other people and they feel like that's just how they gotta be to protect themselves. I don't understand it. If I could go back in time, I even if I watch old interviews, I'm like, cringe. I, I don't even know who that is. Oh yeah, like if you saw the clip of me, I was just ripping other bad girls to shit. I'm yeah, like, who are you like, to be talking about her anyway? Like, wait, so, shut the fuck up, Gabby. Like, it's like just, people we've never even met. Yeah, like trash. This is trash shit. So like the whole event was unorganized. I felt like we weren't eating. We didn't eat. It was oh like some God. janky Hungry ass inn as hotel, fun. whatever the fuck it was. And then we had to fly home. So they booked us a JetBlue airline. And mm -hmm. I was like thrilled to go home. I was like, I can't wait I to fucking- I by like 10 hours. Yeah. And I was like, I can't wait to get home. So we get to the fucking airport. Mm. Everything's fine when we get to the airport. It's when we got home. Actually, it wasn't until we flew to do another Bad Girls Club show on a JetBlue flight, and they let you can't get on your band from JetBlue because as soon as we got home from the Vegas trip, the club, the people that booked us at this Vegas trip, called JetBlue Airlines to get their money back, saying that we were fraudulent and we stole their credit cards and used their credit cards to fly on JetBlue. So it wasn't that we were literally flying to film a Bad Girls Club show, and they had to. We had to drop, call dad, tell him to turn around, pick us back up, and then we had to fly the next day because JetBlue would not let us on the flight, and then they had to put us on Virgin. And then from there on, we just started flying Virgin until Virgin wasn't a Virgin anymore. How did we finally get back on JetBlue? Like, how did that get resolved? I just, I literally, the only time I knew we were back on JetBlue is when I flew to Chicago to hang out with Taylor Kenny. And I was like, shit, we can fly JetBlue, guys. But like, that shouldn't, we should have called and like made a fucking scene. 
We did at the airport when they wouldn't get us on the flight. I'm like, what? They literally booked us. Like, there's I think evidence. That air, we caused a scene at the airport, Gabby, because we were literally supposed to get on a flight to go film, and they would not let us on the JetBlue flight. So we just called Bud and Murray, tell them, hey. So we did this event. They were probably and, like, what the fuck? Yeah, so they wasted money on that flight, probably got no return, and then had to put no, us No, they definitely put insurance on their flights, Danny. No, it's a production don't. company. No, they don't, because when we didn't get on the flight during Bad Girls Club, because I had a panic attack, so it was 9-11, to Mexico, remember? Yeah, Troy was like, oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't Whoa. fucking believe you that yeah, time. Yeah, we missed swimming with dolphins. I literally regret it to this day. And then we flew. It was beautiful that day. The next day we flew was the worst weather ever. Oh my god, it was like the, the universe was like Danielle Victor. I literally did not even I'm want to sorry, look god. at you. I was so like, sorry. you were talking to me on the flight. I was like, the, the hotel they had us at in Mexico was fucking lit. I feel like production just got worse and worse and worse throughout the years. Oh, yeah, used, it was so nice. Put us, like, it was beautiful. The pool, I was like, lay me out, bitch. Lay yeah. me out. There's so many places I want to re go to. I want to go to Mexico. I do want to go to Vegas, like just for like three nights, no, two nights, two nights. That's it. Yeah, I can't I, do more than two nights. Yeah, I feel well, like I could do. I could probably do three, but then I would sleep for two weeks. Yeah, two. I want to do Vegas one more time. Paris, just Europe. I want to go to I Europe. I want to stay in Europe for like three months, yeah. and I don't want to come home to Europe. Tonight, I'm done. I want to go to Japan. Japan's on my bucket list for sure. I want to go to Korea. I want to go to Thailand. I want to go to Bali. I want to go to Dubai. I want to go to Indonesia, but that's like real far. Like, oh my gosh, far. Like, I don't know about that. So where else? And I want to go to Madrid. Madrid's on my to-do list. I want to go to Morocco. No, if I want to go to Morocco. I would, for sure. I mean, I want to go everywhere. Like, if I could say I've literally traveled the world, I would love to say that. But basically, because Danny wanted to go chase somebody, we ended up getting banned off an airline. We wasted so much time we could never get back for a weekend that wasn't even worth a smidge of our time. So. Yeah, I mean, the memories are so like in and out like yeah, it's really like, like i'm sitting here memorable yeah like i'm trying to sit here and remember and i'm like i don't remember that's I remember how irrelevant ride. i remember feeling so dirty and gross by the time we got to vegas it was just not and then we had to get off the bus try to find our way to wherever we... it was like a... and then we had like no money oh yeah so we like literally had to go to mcdonald's and get dollar menu food mm -hmm. and i was like I... and but i that just goes to show like when you do reality tv that they don't take care of you no, Danny, this had nothing to do with reality TV. We were in LA filming for Love Games. I should have been paid just for being there. So yes, it does. I should have had enough money for us to like, if oh, we yeah, want to yeah. fly home, we can leave right now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But they don't do shit. They don't take care of us. They never no. do shit for us. Mm -mm. So people are like, right, would you ever do anything for BMP again? Oh, if they put their bread up. Yeah. Because as far as I'm concerned, y'all literally dog walked us and took advantage of a bunch of young girls who just wanted to be on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. So. That's what production is. It's not people that work in production, they for sure sell their soul. They have like a lack of empathy for sure. I, I don't. Or like they struggle when they go to sleep at night. Like they're it's, not sleeping. Yeah. Because that job is like. Ruthless. I used to want to do like story time. Mm -hmm, like solo like, yeah like solo like when you interview the people that are doing the green screen and then you like, can make a story out of the show mm -hmm. i would have now i can't do that because i could never make someone feel or look in inferior to anybody else yeah no like not at all and that's like their but it's like it's so weird if like you sat here and actually asked me about this trip i really can't fucking tell you much yeah. it's, like it's like literally like a, a blank yeah it's like a blank even going to la to film for the love games with amy and her it's like I don't really remember it. I remember being in the studio and the studio they put us in was so janky and I'm like, this is ghetto. Yeah, it's like, it's very, it's weird. It's weird. But well, that's it. Mm -hmm. The moral of the story is don't do nothing for some dude that just don't do nothing for no dude, period. Like, we could have just gone home. But I was like, nah. Should have just gone home. And he wasn't even there. No. Like on top of that, like the cherry on top of the cake is he wasn't even there. Mm -hmm. And that's where the thing comes in. I don't chase, I attract. What's mm -hmm. meant for me will simply find me. Because mm -hmm. it's ch chase the motherfuckers, oh, ain't man. it? The things I've done. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like there's so many times I'm like, I what? Think it's like, like I remember one time it was CT's birthday and we were beefing because we always used to fight. And I got him like a 
edible arrangements and I put like a bunch of gifts with the edible arrangements and I had the edible arrangements delivered to his house because he lived right down the street mm -hmm. from our parents house he went out partied all night and then texted me at like midnight and was like you're the only person who did anything thankful for me for my birthday and he's like I want to see you came over and like wept like a baby about how I'm like the nicest person he knows and the only friend that cares about him and then I think about like all this stuff I've did did for someone who like I can't even barely remember what he looks like I don't remember what your voice sounds like. Mm -hmm. I don't remember your presence. Mm -hmm. I don't remember anything about you. And mm -hmm. I did so much for you when you were in my life. Mm -hmm. For what? So I could barely remember you, bro. That's why, like, if someone's stressing someone... I don't even someone, remember having sex with him, bro. Yeah. If you're out there stressing some guy who is already showing you he's not the one, I promise you, stop what you're doing. Because you will not remember him. It will be so irrelevant to your story. I mean, no. When that's she... not for every guy. I mean, I remember one guy. There's only one guy I remember to this day. But everyone else not, is like a distant, like... Not really me, you know. A distant blur. But like, there's only one guy where I'm like, wow, every single day. I just... You're you're here every single day. Yeah. At least once a day. And everyone else, I'm just like, I don't even remember having sex with you. I don't remember hanging out with you. I remember doing stuff for you. I remember everything I did for you. And I can't remember a goddamn thing you did for me. Ew. Yeah, except make my life a little and then I chaotic. And then I think about it, it's like, you can't even be mad at them or like hate them or hate yourself for what you did because they came into your life for a reason. And even if you can't acknowledge that reason at the present moment, years later, you're like, okay. Thanks yeah, God. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, I get it now. I get it now. You yeah. won't get like it in 12, the moment. 12, 15, 16, 17 years later. Okay, God, I get it. Mm -hmm. I know exactly why I met that guy. I know why I had sex with him. Now, I can't, I can't speak for people that are sleeping with someone new every single night because I don't know how those people are there to teach you a lesson. Yeah. But they are there to teach you a lesson, which is the crazy thing. Yeah. So, whatever you're going through. Wow, my thighs have gotten so much bigger, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. What? Are my thighs bigger than yours? <gasps> First of all, why do your thighs look longer than mine? I'm on the edge of the couch, Danny. <gasps> my thighs are bigger than yours. No, they're not. It's just a material. It just makes it look thicker. Mm. Anyhow, that's our story time. Yeah, so um, the best quote for this is, this too shall pass. So if you're down bad about something or someone, I promise That's you. That's not what I got from this story time. I, yeah, but at the end of this, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Not the story time is don't- Don't chase no dick. And, and like, if don't listen to your friends. If you like have a feeling you don't want to do something, just don't do it. Cause I- Always go with your gut. Yeah, I was telling Danny, this is such a bad idea. I don't want to uh, do no, this. No, my gut was telling me the same thing too. I just ignored it. Yeah. So, like, don't ever ignore your gut. Yeah, it's literally, if, like, God talking If you're to you. in your car, right, I was reading this book. We have to go. Oh, well, anyways. Literally, we have to go. I was reading this book, and it's about, it's called The Intuitive Code, or, yeah, The Intuitive Code, or The Code of Intuition. And this woman was driving her car, and she told herself, she, her water bottle fell, and it was in the passenger seat, and she was reaching down on the highway to grab it. And her gut feeling said, don't grab that water bottle, just leave it. But she ignored it and she grabbed it and she flipped her car a bunch of times and almost died and she didn't die. And why would she even, besides the point, if your mind or your gut is telling you something, don't ignore it. Mm -hmm. That's our psychic. That's our third eye. That's God Coming speaking through. to you. Yep. Anyways, bye. Bye-bye.